Hi there, I'm Kina, and this month Stumbox is exploring blood. So our next experiment is making blood worms from a calcium chloride and sodium alginate mixture. So if you like the creepy crawly, this experiment is totally right up your creepy alley. To make blood worms, we're going to need the following supplies. Calcium chloride, sodium alginate, a syringe, a tray or a cup to mix in, and a spoon. You're going to want water and a blender. A blender is going to make this so easy for you. Okay, the first step is to add about a cup of water to our blender and very quickly pour a little bit of our sodium alginate in because it solidifies so quickly. We're gonna turn the power on. You're also gonna to wanna to add some food coloring. We want these to look like bloody worms. We're gonna put quite a bit in. We're gonna blend some more. And we're gonna sprinkle in little by little some more until we get to about a tablespoon's worth. The reason it's really helpful to use a blender for sodium alginate when you're mixing it with water and food coloring is that sodium alginate is a food thickener. It's the same thing they use in cherry pie to make the innards more goopy. So it just takes an extra couple of blends to make sure it's perfectly smooth and consistent for this experiment. So carefully pour that mixture, ooh, it's nice and gooey, into a cup. Now the next step is to pour some water into this tray. Just enough till it's about a cup full. And then you're gonna mix your sodium chloride in, about a tablespoon of it, and make it dissolve by rubbing it around. Warm water also helps. Now that you have your sodium alginate mixture with your red food dye, and you have your tray of calcium chloride solution, it's time to make some blood worms. So we're gonna pull up a lot into our syringe, and it's pretty thick, so it might be a little hard to suck up. But that's good, that's exactly what we want. And now gently push in one continuous stream and you'll see that we have managed to make ourselves a blood worm. <laughs> it's so gross. And the cool part is that you can go ahead and break this because everything on the inside is still a jelly liquid. So if you wanna break a piece, you can sew it back up and resuture it just by dipping it in the calcium chloride solution. This is a great example of polymer reactions. So the way this works is that sodium alginate, sodium, is a ion. When you mix it with calcium chloride, calcium, the other ion, switches places with the sodium, creating a cross-linking reaction that solidifies. And this is why you see something from liquid to solid. And the best part, this is also edible. I'm actually not gonna eat it. But um, it's a very cool, very safe experiment, and if you guys wanna try this out, you can test the different reagents for thickness. You can try a more or less concentrated version of calcium chloride. Let us know what you do, and send us your results, because we love hearing what our stamina's get up to. These also make great Halloween decorations if you're trying to come up with some blood worms. Thank you so much for watching this stem box tutorial on how to make blood worms. If you're interested in learning more about blood, watch our lesson video here. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel here, and you can check out our website here. Oops, oops. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.